I was in the airport one time, my God, people get mad if they don't get what they pay for. Had a hot dog machine. Boy, that guy put some money in there. Bam, bam. They start punching it. Talk to it too. Give me my hot dog. Boom. You know, do all kind of stupid things to a machine. You know how that is. I had to teach that man to sit on his problems. I said, what's the matter, sir? And he said a few choice words. Blankety blank machine. Give me my hot dog. I said, well, did you pay for it instead of beat it up? He looked at me like I was insane. I said, I'm going to pray for this machine to give you your hot dog. Well, there was a way to get the word of God to him. You can laugh about that, but the man needed Jesus. Cussing all over an airport at a hot dog machine, you need God. I felt so stupid. Lay my hands in that machine. The devil said, suppose the weenie don't come out. <laughs> you know how that is. You feel like an idiot. I laid my hands in that machine. I said, devil, turn loose of that weenie. Loose of that thing. In Jesus' name. And the hot dog fell out. Bam. Just fell out like that. There's a hippie friend, some dude, I don't, he said, say, brother, can you get me one? Some dude. I said, no, nah, you pay for your, that man paid for his hot dog. Now, I felt like an idiot. I should have prayed for chili and mustard on it. That really would have been a miracle. We just used that machine as a pulpit to proclaim the good news of the gospel. You laugh about that, but pull all the humor out. There's some people needing a terrible problem. They're inside a grave trying to get out in the stone. You need to knock that stone down. And sit on it. Let the glory of God flow out of you.